Hey everybody, a big question that's come up in the uh, flashlight as well as the, I guess, prepper, um, tactical world, however you want to word that, is uh, with these new rechargeable, I say new, uh, they're actually um, quite old uh, to most of the rest of the uh, electronics community, specifically the uh, laptop battery packs that they've been used in for uh, a couple of decades now. Um, but they have gained popularity with flashlights, uh, handheld as well as weapon lights, and that is the 18350 and 18650 rechargeable batteries. For a long time, the CR123 primary battery was the go-to battery of choice for uh, weapon lights, handheld lights, etc., in use by police, military, uh, as well as plenty of civilians. And the reason the CR123 became popular over, say, the double or triple A uh, D cell, etc., was because of its energy density. It could store a lot more energy and could deliver um, a greater power uh, power draw for running an LED or an incandescent, and you would get a lot more output and runtime. Uh, however, as of late, the uh, 18350 and 18650 have kind of gone mainstream. Uh, I believe that that happened when Streamlight as well as Surefire began producing factory lights with 18650 battery uh, capacity or capability. And one of the big questions people have is um, if I put this in my attic, if I store this uh, in, my, in my weapon light, in my handheld, um, how long is it going to last? How long will it hold a charge? And uh, will it go bad? You know, CR-123s have been kept in storage for a decade and still uh, performed at 90% uh, or above on the expected output, uh, even at um, 1.5 amp draw. And the question that people have is, uh, will these rechargeables be as durable and long-lasting? And I attempted to answer that with this video. Uh, what you've been looking at is my old college laptop. I received it, got it in, I believe, 2005, and it wasn't new when I got it. So I would presume that the battery pack in it, uh, although I couldn't find any dates on it, is um, circa 2002 to 2004. So at the, uh, I guess, the very best case scenario for it um, today in 2019, uh, that places it at almost a decade and a half old. And I used this laptop through the first couple of years of college. Uh, 2007-2008, I left it on 24-7. Uh, it uh, overheated several times. I had to buy one of those little um, pads with a fan that go under the laptop to keep it cool. And uh, actually, when I took the battery pack apart, you can see the batteries got hot enough to melt into the lid, so um, they definitely did not live a comfortable life. And um, I don't know, some of you electronic gurus might uh, be able to track out, track down when this was produced. Uh, these batteries, I looked online, and they have a 1950 MAH rating. They're made by Sony. And eight of them were in this battery pack. The last time the computer saw electricity, I believe, was in 2009 at the very latest. Um, probably more like 07 or 08. Uh, anyway, so these batteries were used and abused for two or three years, maybe four, and then sat dormant for a decade. And that's probably one of the worst case scenarios for a rechargeable battery. Uh, so I wanted to pull them out and charge them up and compare them to a relatively new Streamlight battery that came in my HLX flashlight. And um, this battery has not been on the charger yet. And you can see just how uh, dead these are. I'm going to throw it on the charger here for you and 2.28 volts and watch this it jumps up very rapidly um, on the initial charge I've already charged fully four of these see it's already just jumping up there 
Uh, anyway, the four batteries that I charged all charged within a few minutes of each other. It took about uh, five hours, five hours and five minutes, give or take, and they all charged to 4.20 volts finally. Uh, that was the resting voltage, which uh, incidentally is what this Streamlight charged to, 4.20. It is a 2600 mAh battery, and um, I looked at Streamlight's runtime for this flashlight, and it's listed at 1.25 hours before it drops out of regulation using a 2600 mAh battery. These only have 75% of the capacity of that battery at 1950 mAh. So theoretically they should last 56 minutes and some change. Uh, so I uh, tested that and one of them, I've only tested two at random, one of them lasted uh, roughly 45 minutes before it dropped out of regulation at a resting voltage of 3.61. Uh, this is that battery. 3.73 looks like it uh, yeah, looks like it regenerated a little bit I guess uh, after it cooled off uh, anyway the other one uh, when I tested it immediately after pulling it it lasted 54 minutes and it was 3.62 volts and now it's 3.73 uh, now that it's cooled off um, so this one came within two minutes of its theoretical runtime on its best day, and the other one was um, at about 45 minutes. That's about 10 minutes less. Um, in other words, for all the abuse heaped on these batteries, they're all taking 4.20 on a final charge and losing very little runtime. Uh, when subjected to a relatively significant current draw. I'm not sure what the 1000 lumen HLA, HLX uh, draws at, but it, it is significant and represents modern weapon lights in use today. Um, this was charged 24 hours ago, uh, as was this one, to a final resting voltage of 4.20. And when I place them in the charger, The one on the right is registering 4.18. The one on the left is registering 4.17. Um, so they seem to be holding charge very well. The Streamlight, on the other hand, has a higher capacity, so one would expect it to lose power a little bit slower. Um, it's also much newer and has not been abused. And it comes in, uh, it comes in, didn't lose virtually uh, anything. It already is fully charged and is at 4.20, uh, just like it was when I took it off the charger 24 hours ago. Anyway, my point in making this video and sharing this with you is a lot of people wonder about the shelf life of the lithium ion rechargeables as well as the um, viability of them long term and considering that these batteries have had very um, very rough lives were stored um, basically stored until they ran dry um, I think they've done very well they retain their ability to take a full charge as far as I can see on the voltage and they come within just a few minutes of their theoretical runtime. So I hope that's put your mind at ease and answered some questions you may have about um, will my 18350s, 18650s last in storage? How much, uh, how much do I have to look after them, etc.? I will add the optimal storage uh, temperature uh, for a lithium ion, I believe is 20 degrees Celsius, and the optimal voltage to store them with is going to be 3.92. Anyway, I hope this video was informative and helped you all. Thank you.